I'm just putting my DJI Phantom together. Uh, it's the original, it's not the latest version. But I wanted to go, go over the battery charging because I know the manual isn't fantastic. Um, first thing is obviously you want to connect your power lead up, but don't plug it in yet, you don't need to. Um, the settings on the control here for the original batteries, you should be on the far left uh, for, the, for the type of battery it is. Try to zoom in, maybe there we go. And then this is your charging rate. So basically you can charge at different speeds by the amperage. You know, it's basically pushing uh, the different amperage into the battery. So at 3 amps, it'll take about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. And then as you go down, it takes longer. I think 1 amp, probably going to double that nearly. Uh, probably going to take two, 2 two hours maybe. Um, so what you got to do, get your power lead connected in, just push it in the back. Nothing too difficult. And on here, you'll see you've got one black and one red. You've got to get these the right way round. Um, sounds pretty obvious, but if you're in the dark or talking and not looking what you're doing, you can actually reverse these because this this will only go one way, but this will go in either way. So as you can see, there's the plus on the right hand side. So plus equals red. So just push that in there, and that's that ready. Now we get our battery, this is our phantom battery. Just move the power lead over a bit. And you've got three connectors in here. And the one we want is actually the middle one. Just push them in there. They only go one way. That's upside down then. Get the grey cable in there. Great holding the phone at the same time. So that just clips in there. And what we'll do is we'll whack some power on now. Okay, here we go. So it's recognized, this is flashing away. It knows it's gonna be the third one, is it? It's not charging. Okay. Because it won't go all the way to a 4S because we're not, we're on a 2S. So it's only gonna charge to that one. So what we do now is just connect the power leads up. Like so, and it's charged up to 3S, sorry, 3S. Now, I assume that's actually saying it's charged, which is why it's flickering away. Easy way to check, I'll swap the battery out with another one. Okay, so when this is fully charged, it goes green. Um, basically, the battery we put on there was already charged. Um, the way to check, I've got two batteries here, is... We know this is a three cell, so it's a, it's a 3S battery. Um, I've got this little device here that will tell me exactly what state it plays on with the battery. So if I push this in, try and do this through the camera without actually, there we go. So there we go, 3S battery, all cells. It's a total of 12.1, number one, four, seven volts, number two, four, six volts and 4.6 on the three, third cell. And that's it. So I know this one's already charged because obviously the voltage on these is 11.1, .1, so this is well and truly charged. Um, this is another one. I'll just see if this one's under. Okay, I'll just show you what it does when it thinks or knows the battery's not charged or not fully charged. Handy to get these, get one off eBay, do it cheap. Um, I think it cost me a couple of quid. It was nothing. Um, but before you go out, it means you know if all your batteries are charged, especially if you're like me and throw them all in one box instead of marking the ones that need recharging. Come on, get in there. So just put that in there. Makes it a bit awkward come 
use my left hand and the cables trying to go the other way. There we go. See, so it's saying 2S. We know it's not 2S. There we go, 3S. All, it's a total of 9.66. So you can see it beeping away. It's saying the voltage is low. How easy is that? And as you've seen with the other one, it was fine. It knows that's fully charged, ready to go. It's telling me top this one up. And it's telling me to top the, well, this one here is fully charged as well. So I just need to top my other battery up and then we're ready to go. We've got three battery cells ready to row. row. Um, but that's how to charge it. You know, simple as that. And I do recommend getting one of these just so you know exactly how much voltage is in there. Because you may only need, you know, maybe half charged or whatever. And you don't know. Uh, just useful. All right. Thanks for watching.